Like many kids his age, 13-year-old Joey Maggard spent much of his childhood playing sports. But when he experienced the onset of seizures a few years ago, his favorite extracurricular activities came to a halt. Joey was nine when he had his first seizure. Um, he had spent the weekend with his dad and they were actually at their grandma's house eating supper. Um, I got a phone call saying that he was okay, but that he had had seizure and it was uh, a grandma seizure. Joey was diagnosed with epilepsy, a chronic neurologic condition that affects the brain. His seizures were frequent and debilitating, and he had to drop out of public school. There was no set pattern to his seizures. He may have three one day and then nothing for a week, and then may have one every day for a week. We never knew when they were coming. It was just always wondering when the next one was going to hit. I was kind of limited on certain stuff that I would do, like certain sports I couldn't play because we were afraid that I'd have a seizure right there. Right, we went through nine different medicines and some would work for, you know, a couple of weeks or a month and then some wouldn't work at all. It was very hard to sit there and watch your kid, you know, you feel helpless. You just try to hold him and I would talk to him and tell him that I was there and that he was safe and, you know, you have to keep together so that he don't freak out. But after I would get him okay, then I would have the meltdown. I felt kind of sad and frustrated and actually kind of devastated because I couldn't do what I normally could do. So after that, I just felt limited on my life. After tracking and treating Joey's condition for several years, Dr. Kudub Khan referred Joey to one of his colleagues at the Kentucky Neuroscience Institute. Dr. Miriam Bensel and Owen. So I met Joey at the beginning of January of 2016, and he was referred to me by one of my pediatric epilepsy colleagues, Dr. Khan, and the um, referral was for epilepsy surgery evaluation. Because Joey was having very frequent seizures, he was having anywhere from 20 to 30 seizures a month associated with loss of consciousness, and also he was experiencing one to three generalized tonic-clonic seizures, also called grand mal seizures per month. So Dr. Khan felt that he would be a great epilepsy surgery candidate. Before surgery, Joey's doctors performed a procedure called brain mapping. Electrodes were placed directly on the brain to determine which parts were causing his seizures and whether these parts were safe to remove or if they were essential for basic motor functions. Before the neurosurgeon removes any area of the brain, resects any area of the brain, we will clear that area for the surgeon. And, and we, to do this, we perform brain mapping. But during these sessions, we test language, we test uh, motor function, for instance, and we basically draw a map of the area of interest. We, we usually put colors and we uh, tell the surgeon where there is function, what type of function there is, and how is this area in relation to the area where the seizures are coming from. So far, the procedure has been a success. Joey has had no seizures since his surgery. He has already returned to school and has been cleared to play sports again. He can do things that I normally wouldn't let him do before, by himself or, you know, riding his bike, or just doing stuff that normal kids get to do without the overprotective mother. <laughs> I am really relieved, well, relieved. I can do basically everything that I could have done before I had these seizures, and with these seizures, uh, it would have limited me, but I think it's really gonna work. Now, Tamil Talis, uh, we, he has been now seizure-free for two months, uh, and again, uh, we have to remind ourselves that he's been having 20 to 30 seizures a month. Uh, and now for, for him and his family, I think it's just, they're thrilled because they've been, he's been seizure-free for two months. Looking ahead to the future, Joey hopes his experience may help other patients just like him. I want to be a neurologist because I went through the stuff that if I become a neurologist, I can tell them my story and if the surgery works, it's going to be okay. <laughs>